Michael, tell us about the new Platinum ETF. So Platinum uh, ETF is one of the commodities ETF available in the market. It forms uh, part of the alternative as well. But it, it's, li it's slightly at different to your, norm, to, to your gold ETF in the sense that if you're looking at it on a high level, basically, if you're investing in gold, it's actually when you see that the world is actually not a good place to be, so you want to actually hedge your bets. So if you invest in platinum, it's basically where you believe that you know, the world is a good place to be, the market is going to grow, because platinum, unlike gold, is mainly used for industrial, it's called industrial use, which is basically used, for, for, uh, is used by the auto industry for catalytic converters. Uh, so there we're talking about cars. So the cars that actually consume platinum are, are diesel cars, which you generally actually get produced in the Europe, consuming uh, in, in various markets, including uh, Europe uh, mainly, uh, India, uh, and, and so on. So basically, the, the main driver for the, for the price of platinum is actually derived from what is actually happening in the auto industry and where the, where, where the market is actually going around in terms of whether is there growth in the market. People have got disposable income to buy more cars or maybe even sometimes more TVs and electronics and stuff like that. So basically, so platinum is actually used for that. So platinum is mainly used for catalytic converters for diesel cars. It is also used for other things like chemicals, uh, also used for electronics, but it's mainly for, for converters. So the main driver for, 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 for the product largely depend on what is happening in the auto industry. The reason why we launched it was because, I mean, there was obviously a need for investors to say, yes, we do actually have other commodities, but we also want to participate uh, in platinum, more especially the time in South Africa is the largest producer of platinum. We want to have our hands into our local uh, minerals. So how do we do it? And then we actually created an ETF called New Plat for investors to be able to invest in, which then which actually give them a different kind of uh, um, uh, element of investment compared to your normal gold ETF. So our platinum is the, the largest platinum ETF uh, in the world. I mean, it was launched in, in 2013. Within a very short space of time of listing, within six months, it became the world's largest, I mean, double the size of the U.S. largest uh, ETF. It is also not only listed in South Africa, it's listed, uh, I mean, in, in JSC as well as in other markets like in um, uh, like in, in Botswana, as well as in, uh, in, in Namibia. Uh, when it comes to liquidity, I think it's actually one of the most, uh, I mean, liquid ETF was it trades more often than other ETFs. And when it comes to our spread as well, I think we, in terms of, uh, we've got a much more competitive spread compared to our peers. Michael, thanks for your time and for sharing your knowledge on the ETFs. Thank you. And thank you for joining us on Black Onyx. For more details, please visit the website.